Hi, welcome to this uh, short video just showing you a few mobility moves. Joint mobility is really important as we get older just for sort of everyday life, for functional moves. Um, it's also important if we're strength training and doing cardio because we're putting load through the joints and so keeping the joints mobile helps us to perform the exercise better and we benefit more and we reduce the risk of injury. So I'm just going to show you a few moves that I incorporate into my sort of weekly exercise routine simply because I need to. I'm not as mobile as I would like to be. So first thing I'm going to do is point out the fact that I've got bare feet. You don't need trainers from this. In fact, it's probably better if you don't wear trainers, you'll benefit more. We're going to just warm up through the shoulders to start with. So just standing in a relaxed position, feet are hip width apart and nice um, long neck. So bring the shoulders down and then we're just going to literally roll them forward. That's it, good. Just increasing the range as you go. A couple more, that's it. And then we'll take them back, lovely. Good, so just getting a little bit of a um, mobilization through the shoulder joints before we actually get started. Good, and a couple more, last one, lovely. Okay, well done. So coming down onto the mat, um, I'm going to show you what's called a scapular press. And this is just to really open up um, the area, the mid back through the sort of shoulder blade area. So come into a kneeling position where your hips are over your knees, your shoulders are over your wrists, and your neck is in line with your spine. And then keeping the arms straight, so don't bend the elbows, just sink the chest and squeeze the shoulder blades together as you do. And then push up through the mid back and press out the shoulder blades. So again, just sink and squeeze the shoulder blades together and then press up and out. So just really opening up that area through the mid back around the shoulder blades. Keep those arms straight, don't bend the elbows, sink and then press up and out. Good, shoulder blades squeeze together. Good, and one more each way. Lovely. Okay, now that's the gentler version. If that feels um, that it's not sort of stretching through enough for you, you can do it in a kneeling plank. So just coming forward again, shoulders are over the wrists. Make sure that your weight is fully distributed through the whole of the hand so you can feel um, your weight in your fingertips, not just the heel of your hand. That just helps protect wrists uh, a little bit. And same thing, just sink, squeeze the shoulder blades together and press up and out through the mid back. That's it, good. Lovely, and a couple more. And last one. Good, and then just sit back into child's pose. So uh, bottom onto heels, let the knees come apart slightly and just really stretch through, crawl the fingertips forward and feel a good stretch through the upper back. Good, we're gonna work through the mid back again. It's an area where I'm very tight, so I won't have a good range of movement. You, you may well do better than me. But just kneeling and popping down one arm as if I was going into an elbow plank, and then with the other, I take the hand behind the head, and I'm gonna tap elbows, and then bring the elbow up, so rotating through the spine and following the elbow with the eye. Good, so breathe in as you come down and then breathe out as you open up and rotate through the spine. Good, and let's just do one more on this side. That's it, so just try and increase the range with each one. So squat arms, the other elbow goes down, so you're in elbow plank with the other arm to support hand behind the head and then tap the elbows together and rotate. Good. So breathe in, tap together and breathe out as you rotate through the thoracic spine. Good. And let's just do one more. 
Lovely. Okay, now you can do a similar move, or effectively achieve the same thing, but in a standing position if you prefer, just supported by a chair. We did this in one of my classes. So take your feet far enough away so that you're supported by the chair, the shoulders are over the wrists, but you can keep a nice straight back and soft knees. So you're just finding a position where you're well supported and you feel balanced, okay? And then I'm going to take one hand off the chair and just thread it sort of under the chest as it were, breathing in and then we're going to bring it up, bring the arm up and out to feel that rotation through the spine, opening up through the chest a little bit as well, breathing out as we open up, breathe in as we thread under. This is called thread the needle or a variation on it. So as you thread under, breathe in and breathe out as you open up. Let's do that on the other side. So again, just keep this arm relatively straight, slight uh, softness in the elbow, don't just completely lock it out, but keep the arm relatively straight. Okay, so we're going to thread under, breathing in, and then open out, and following the hand with the eye. So you feel that rotation through the mid-back, and you open up through the front of the shoulder and the chest as well. Good, and last one. Lovely. Okay, um, let's pop into a hip flexor stretch. So I'm going to come down into a kneeling position. Um, hip flexors get very tight when we sit a lot, so um, it can be an issue for us, uh, for those who are sitting a lot during lockdown. So come into a kneeling position where your knee is over your ankle and the hip is over the back knee. And then just to make the point, I'm going to exaggerate and stick my bottom back so that I can show you how we squeeze the glute, tilt the pelvis and press forward through the hip. And at the same time, I'm just going to bring my arms up. Okay, so what I'm doing is really opening up and stretching through the hip flexor. So we're pulling it up this way. So just press forward with the hip, squeeze that glute and take the arms up. That's it. So don't go too far forward, squeeze the glute and just press the hip forward. Don't take it too far forward, keep it there. And then we can take the arms up and that really performs the stretch well. Okay. Good, let's just do one more on this side. Good, and then I'm gonna change legs and I'll face the camera. So we'll do the same thing. So squeeze the glute, press the hips forward, not too far, take the arms up. And again, you can just follow the hands with the eyes. So taking the head back a little bit, let the neck just follow the natural line of the spine. Let's just pop in one more, squeeze that glute, and then, lovely. And then from there, we can pop in some side bends each way on each leg. Just helps open it up a little bit more. Good. You can do both sides. We do a similar stretch to this um, at the beginning of most of my classes in a lunge position. Good. And then you would perform that same move on the other leg with side bends. Okay. So I'm just going to show you one more uh, move movement which is good for opening up through the chest and the spine but this time it's a seated uh, exercise so I'm going to sit on a chair making sure I'm well supported my bottom is well onto the chair and knees are over the ankle shoulders down and relaxed I'm going to take the back of the hand and press against the knee on the same side and so create your own resistance. As I press in with the knee, I'm pushing against it with the back of my hand. And then with the other arm, I'm gonna hold it straight out in front of me. And then I'm gonna press with that hand against the knee. And as I do, I'm gonna take that arm right back, okay? So this is a really good rotation. 
through the spine. Good, and breathe out again as you rotate. So as you take the hand back, breathe out. Following it with the eye and press the back of the hand against the knee. Create that resistance. That just really anchors you and helps you open up through that stretch a little bit more. So let's do that on the other side. Back of the hand against this knee, the other arm out in front, I'm pressing. Deep breath and then breathe out as I take the hand back. You'll probably find with all of these moves that you are more mobile on one side than the other and that's quite normal. So if there's one side that you're very tight, then just add in a couple more of the moves on that side when you're doing your little routine. So eight to 10 on each side, something like that of all the exercises I'm showing you. You know, just make this your own basically. Don't forget to press that knee into the back of the hand. Good, and last one, lovely. Okay, one more exercise down on the floor. And then um, I think that'll be enough for today. Please feed back to me if you think that you'll benefit and you'll enjoy this, then I'm happy to, you know, put together um, sort of 15 minute videos every so often, just bringing in a few moves because they're, you know, really, really valuable. Good, so we're going to come down onto the mat. Now, if you've got a, a pillow to put your head on, um, you know, that would be good. I don't need one, but obviously um, it would help, particularly if you've got any neck issues. And I've got my knees just sort of relaxed in a bent position. And what I'm going to do is bring my top one forward. Okay, so the knee is in line with the hip. The hips are on top of each other. And I'm going to hold that knee in place with the lower arm. So what I'm doing is just really preventing the lower body, uh, the lower, yes, sort of the lower body from moving really, my hips from moving. Okay, so I'm gonna pop my head down so that my neck is relaxed lock my bottom and hips in place and then I'm going to take the top arm and I'm just going to reach forward so the knee can come onto the floor, reach forward as far as I can, breathing in and then I'm going to bring the arm back so pulling it back through the shoulder joint and then take it up and open out the other way and again breathe out as I take the arm back. So keep the hips in place. You're just holding that knee with the lower arm to keep the hips in place. So the rotation again is through the upper back and bring the arm back and then so reach out as far as you can, breathing in. Good, and then retract through the shoulder joints, bringing the arm back and breathing out as you open up. Good. So this will benefit your lower back, but the, the actual rotation is through the mid spine, okay? And it's also good for the neck. It's good for all sorts of uh, places, this. <laughs> good for the neck, good for the shoulders, that's it. And then just last one. So taking that hand forward, pressing as far forward as you can, and then breathing out as you take the arm back. So opening up through the chest, feeling that through the, the mid spine, and also it will benefit the lower back. So let's just do a few on the other side. So I will let my head just gently rest on the floor the top knee comes forward, I'm gonna anchor it with the lower hand and then leaning forward or pressing forward with that hand, feeling that stretch as far as I can and then taking the arm back and over. Good, so opening up through the chest, rotating through the spine. Breathe in and then out as I take the arm over. And again, follow the hand with the eye. Good. Let's 
sit. And then last one. Lovely. Okay, and then when you're done, don't rush up. <laughs> Just come up in your own time. And uh, that's it, good. So I think there's about five moves in there, variation on a couple of them. Um, if you've enjoyed it, please let me know. I can put together another video with different ones, but it's really important just to sort of try and tuck a few of these in if we can, um, you know, particularly if you are feeling tight, and especially if you're doing a lot of strength training, it will really benefit. So thanks for joining me, and I will see you again soon.